everyone. Today we are going to make a volcano. So start with your slip knot. And you're going to chain 16 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Now you're going to single crochet in the second one from your hook and then single crochet all the way across. So when you get to your end you should have a total of 15 stitches. Count and just make sure And then you're going to chain one and turn your work. And then I'm going to decrease. I'm going to insert my hook into that first stitch. I'm going to put my yarn over and I'm going to pull up a loop. Then I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. So I have a total of three loops on my hook. I'm going to put my yarn over and pull it through all three. Then I'm going to single crochet until I get to the last two stitches. And then I'm going to decrease again, so I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch. There we go. Yarn over, pull up a loop, insert your hook into your last stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. And then yarn over and pull through all three loops. And then chain one and turn. This next row, I'm just going to single crochet all the way across. I should have a total of 13 stitches. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, and 13. Alright, I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to decrease, so insert your hook into your first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the second stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then single crochet until the last two stitches.
right, and then decrease to insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the last stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Right, then chain one and turn and you're going to single crochet all the way across on this row so you should have a total of 11 stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Nine, ten, and eleven. So I'm going to chain one and turn. Then I'm going to decrease. So insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the second stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through all three. And then you're going to chain until you get to the last two or not chain, I'm sorry, single crochet until you get to the last two. There's one. Okay. I have my last two stitches. I'm going to decrease it. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, Insert your hook into the last stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then you're going to chain one and turn. And you're going to single crochet all the way across. Oops, I think it, yeah, you should have nine stitches by the end of this row. So there's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to decrease over the first two. So insert your hook. Pull up a loop, insert hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through all three. Then single crochet until I get to that last two stitches. And you should have seven stitches when we're done with this row. Then decrease, enter your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the last stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through all three. Chain one, turn, then single crochet in each stitch across. Remember, you should have seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and seven. Mine's a little tangled. Oops. There we go. All right, and chain one and turn. You're going to decrease over the next two. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the second stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through all three. Then you're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And then decrease to so insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the last stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, 
pin yarn over and pull for all five. So you should now have five stitches. So chain one and turn. And you're going to single crochet all the way across. So one, two, three, four, and five. And this fifth one, I'm going to leave it with the two loops because I'm going to change colors. So I did not pull it, or I did not put the yarn over and pull it through both. I left it with the two on there. And since a volcano, we're going to have my volcano with red on the top. So I'm going to take my red yarn. And I'm going to, instead of using the brown to pull it through, I'm going to hook on to the red. Oops, maybe and pull it through those last two loops. And then I'm going to chain one with my red. I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to single crochet all the way across. So I have five single crochet. Now you can either stop right here or if you want the lava to run down the side, you can add another chain into that stitch or single crochet into that one you just did. And then I'm going to single crochet in the same stitch again. So I did three in that last one. And then I'm going to single crochet down the side. Just a little bit. So I'm going to do one. You just kind of find a place for your needle to easily fit in. Two. And I'm going to do one more. And four. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and end my yarn. Or end it, so I'm going to fasten off. So I'm going to cut my end. Maybe. There we go. And I haven't cut the brown yet, so I'm going to cut it. I'm going to leave a long enough tail. I can still weave in the end like I'm supposed to. Roll this back up. All right. And I'm going to put the yarn over. I'm going to pull it through that loop and pull it all the way out. All right. I'm going to take my needle. I'm going to weave in the end. I try to keep the colors the same, so I'm not going to put the red on the brown. I'm going to keep the red on the red. I'm just going to weave through those stitches. Just like so. I'm going to pull it through. Cut your end. And do the same thing with the other ends. And try to weave in the ends on the same side. That way you have one side's the front and one side is the back. And now you have your volcano. Have fun and enjoy.